Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Dan Blanchard, episode 58 of the Dare Granddaddy Vlog. It's a uh, teen parent and educator advice column. So I've got a uh, 12th grader that wrote in to me and she said, Dare Granddaddy, the thought of going to college next year scares me. And this is Katie, a 12th grader. Okay, well, Katie, I don't blame you. I think we all tend to like worry about the next big step in our lives. So, you know, that's just how it goes. I mean, no one blames you for being worried about that, right? We've all been there, right? But here's the thing, Katie. You're going to do great. I mean, you really are, okay? Um, but to do great, here's a couple of strategies I want you to work on, okay? First, I want you to trust in yourself that you're going to figure out this next step in life and it's going to be all right. And I want you to trust that this great big world is going to treat you okay. You know, like Einstein said, is this universe friendly or like foe, right? It's, it's, believe it or not, it, it's friendly, right? Listen, every year, thousands of kids go off to college every year, and guess what? They make it, and so will you, okay? So, also, I want you to get some good advice and don't rely on just your own preconceived notions of how things are wrong, because they, you know, how things work, because they could be wrong, you know, as mine was, okay? So let me give you an example. I, um, not too long ago, I was visiting colleges with my daughter, and we were up in the Boston area checking out these colleges when the West Point swim team walked in. And uh, it brought back a memory, all right? Now, many, many years ago, the West Point wrestling team was recruiting me, okay? Now, here's my wrong preconceived notions. I thought that I had to go to West Point for four years, and nobody would ever see me again during those four years, and I had to go to the Army for four years, and I was like 17 years old. And I was gonna have to take off like eight years with never seeing any of my family or friends during that eight years and that seemed like a lifetime to me, all right? See, I didn't realize that there would be opportunities for me to come home and see family and friends, right? And guess what? And nobody told me anything different. And I failed to ask around and, ch and, and find out what the real truth was. So the bottom line is I'm 17 years old thinking that I'll never see my mom, my sisters, my brother, you know, my friends, girlfriends, anybody for eight years. It seemed like a lifetime to me and it scared me away. And it turned me away from what could have been maybe a great opportunity. I, I should have asked around and got the right information, but I didn't, okay? So now, all these years later, I don't know if I would have done anything different, but I do know this, that I wouldn't let like incomplete information and fear make my future choices for me and neither should you katie so find out what's out there find out the correct information about what's going on with your next step and be brave okay and lighten up a little bit and enjoy your next milestone katie so now if you want to read the full article click on the link below all right you can read the full article on this um, I hope this episode 58 was helpful. I'm going to be back real soon, 59. But while you're there, click on the link below. Check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any more of these. And check me out on danblanchard.net or granddaddysecrets.com. And I'll catch up with you real soon. Take care now.